All right, man. <laughs> I'm not doing all right. Okay, my favorite streamer, Ninja, is trending on Twitter because apparently he got mad at a video game. <laughs> so once I heard this heartbreaking news, I had to do some research. So apparently Ninja was playing a game of Valorant the other day, and he got a little bit triggered, you know, a little bit angry at one of his teammates, and he went off on this teammate, you know? He was like, listen, man, get good, you're trash, I did your mom, you know, just the, the standard procedure. And listen, dude, if you're an experienced gamer like me, you know that trash talk is not something rare in the gaming scene. For better or for worse, toxicity is something that's pretty ingrained into gaming culture. I mean, it's just not something that you can escape at this point. And I'll just say it straight up, okay? If you have a pretty thin skin and you know that your feelings will get hurt pretty easily, there are just some games that I recommend you never touch in your life. Because if you know that you get easily offended or that your feelings get easily hurt, I mean, listen, dude, in some games, people will say things to you that will honestly probably make you want to go swimming with your toaster. And listen, man, I'm just not a big fan of swimming lessons with a good old toaster, okay? If we can prevent that, I think we should. But with that in mind, I'm not gonna sit here and say that toxicity in video games is entirely that bad. I mean, there's always the good old mute option if you really don't want to hear what somebody's saying. Like, maybe some guy's talking about engaging in sexual activities with your mother. I mean, you could easily just say, hey man, not nice, and then mute them. But if you're asking me, I think in that situation, you just gotta clap back with a better roast. If their microphone quality sounds bad, you could always go after their socioeconomic status, but hey, you didn't hear that from me. That's just a suggestion if somebody makes fun of you first. I'm just teaching you self-defense here. But listen, toxicity is something that you just simply can't avoid in multiplayer games unless you're playing like Animal Crossing, then I think that community is pretty tame. But listen, if you're playing in a competitive team-based multiplayer game and one of your teammates is playing like absolute horseshit, it's not the end of the world if you tell them that they're playing like horseshit. But again, there are some people that are incredibly sensitive and, you know, they believe that when you just call somebody out for playing bad in a video game, that's, well, that's so toxic, man. So yeah, Ninja was playing Valorant the other day and, you know, one of his teammates was playing really bad. And listen, I'll just say straight up, I think after watching this gameplay that a actual scarecrow or a mannequin could do a better job at playing the video game than this kid that Ninja's playing with. So yeah, with that in mind, this kid who's actually worse than a pile of rocks at Valorant uh, triggered Ninja a little bit. Ninja got a little bit upset because this kid sucks. And yeah, this is what Ninja had to say. Claw through them. Polo, shut up. Talking to the enemy team. Cover going out. Oh. Uh, I'm gonna f shot you. it. Well, you're not gonna put your shot up. Right? Oh my, I can tell you. Oh, rank, oh my god. I'm gonna f what hey, your uh, network is? I'm gonna uh, follow. Please. You're not gonna tell somebody to shut the f up. How about I tell you to shut right? the f up and stop playing I this game care. because you are fucking awful. You're at talking it. to a 17 year old. I don't care. You just I don't care if you're like 12. You're a fucking I don't give a f bro. Shut the f up, man. First of all, this kid literally just complained that Ninja was telling him to shut the fuck up. He's saying, listen, you can't you can't tell somebody to shut up on a video game. That's disrespectful. But then in a matter of like five seconds, he literally just told Ninja to shut up. So I don't know, man. Kind of ironic. He's also like randomly mentioning Ninja's net worth. Like, listen, Ninja, I don't care what your net worth is. I don't care what your net worth is. As if that somehow has anything to do with the fact that he's missing all of his shots. Like if Ninja had started shit talking you by by saying, listen, Polo, you sound super fucking poor. You know, you sound like you come from a poor neighborhood. You sound like you come from a neighborhood where everybody spits bubblegum on the sidewalk and the majority of people in your neighborhood don't have a college degree. Then yeah, I think that Polo would be warranted to say, yeah, Ninja, I don't give a shit about your net worth, okay? Honest to God, I think Ninja was pretty tame in this situation. He didn't really say much else than Polo, please shut up and you know, you're not very good at the game whatsoever. And neither of those things were unrealistic. I I would say. I mean, just sympathize a little bit with Ninja here, okay? If you're in the highest rank of a video game and you're playing like absolute hot, hot, steamy, steamy garbage, if you're playing at a rank where people actually get careers in the video game that they're playing and you're playing terribly, I think that people are definitely allowed to call you bad. Oh my god, dude, how are you still radiant, bro? You're too insane, like, you're literally bottom frag on right now. I don't know how I'm so every, every I game. don't have a single life worth saving. Actually. Jerry, Jerry, Jerry. Bro, imagine thinking you're cool because y y you fucking think like, oh, I don't care. It's just a ranked match, dude. It, it's ranked. 
Oh, oh, okay. So how's your, so how's your okay? So how's your protein doing that? How's your how's your protein doing that? How you know? You, oh, you you, 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 oh, you oh you don't oh so you don't okay so you don't okay so you don't care about rank and you won't care about pro like professionally competing. So what do you care about? What do you care about, bro? Do you take anything serious? Yo, get fucking shit on again, by the way. Hey, again, 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 you get shit on again. One tap again. You're literally just sitting in my ear all game. Again, you get. Dominated. Right, you're fucking dominated. You're like awful. I don't care what you're not with it. I don't care either. You're fucking trash. Good, bro. I'm glad oh, you made it. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> 40 on Omen. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Your ego is so no, fucking Homie, late. why are you bringing money into this as I if it's if it's relevant at all? You should run. I'd call you trash 10 One years ago, I'd call you trash right now. So overall, I think that I am going to defend Ninja here. I don't think that anything he was saying was too outrageous, right? He didn't go after the kid personally. He just said that, you know, you're not good at the video game. He didn't make any, like, ad hominem attacks toward him. You know, he didn't roast the way his voice sounds. I mean, he kind of, like, mocked him a little bit, but that wasn't that bad. He didn't say, you know, I bet you're poor, I bet you're adopted, I bet you smell like onions. He didn't really say anything like that. But the one thing that I will say, uh, in order to critique Ninja here is that when you do have you know, like 17 million Twitch followers or however many he has, there is obviously going to be a power imbalance with anybody who he's going to play with, right? So I do I do think that Ninja has to be a little bit more careful with, you know, that power balance, knowing very well that he is definitely the most recognizable person in any video game that he's going to play. But at the same time, I think that some of the people who are trying to critique him, just, they're just very, they just sound so ignorant. I mean, some of the people who are acting like this is some of the worst stuff that's ever been said on an online video game, I mean, they must be out of their minds or they've just never touched an xbox because ninja in the grand scheme of gaming voice chat i mean what he said was very tame i mean people literally call the swat team on somebody just because they don't like the way that you know something that they said to them on an online video game people will ddos you people will take off your internet people will try to boot you offline and literally try to ruin your life outside of the video game just because of something that you did in the video game so yeah in the grand scheme of things i don't think ninja did anything that bad or anything that outrageous as some of the people are saying that it is. But I do think that Ninja, I guess, should calm down a little bit because it is kind of a bad look. But yeah, tell me what you guys think about the situation down in the comments below. And yeah, with that all being said, hope you guys have enjoyed this video. If you have, be sure to drop a like and subscribe if you're at all new to the channel. Comment down Snow Globe if you've made it to the end of this video and I will go heart your comments. Thank you to all my channel members for your continued support. It really helps me out to make the content that I want to make. Go follow my social medias, links all in the description below. But with that being said, hope you guys are having a fantastic day and I'll see you guys all in the next video. Peace out.